Hi and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to walk you through how I created a custom look for my developer blog, how I used hash nodes, headless mode and their GraphQL API and uh, Astro to get a fully custom look up and running in just a couple of hours. This can be a nice weekend project if you're already on hash node, uh, but also if you just want to get started, this is a nice way to have like a word class editor that's a uh, part of the uh, hash node blogging system paired with a custom look that you can build up from scratch or use one of the astro themes like i did so let's jump into it so the reason i decided to create a custom look for my blog is because i really wanted to have a landing page that's currently not possible with hash node so right now you can choose from these three themes and that's pretty much all. But I still wanted to have access to their absolutely world class editor, which has AI built into it. Uh, you can embed uh, videos, uh, tweets, all you can pretty much imagine or what you will ever need for your blog. Just sign up and, and try it. And Headless Hash Node is exactly uh, designed for this. So you can still keep using their editor. You have access to their Hash Node community, Hash Node feed your blog posts will still appear here, they can feature you, stuff like that, but you can have your custom look. And you can achieve this with something called the hash node headless mode. Uh, you can turn this on in your blog dashboard. So inside the dashboard, head down to domain and you will find the headless mode here. One heads up at the beginning, do not enable this while you are developing your custom look, you can still interact with their GraphQL API and fetch your blog posts without having this enabled. Enabling this is like pretty much the last step of this entire process. I will also leave a couple of useful links in the description to their uh, API announcement and uh, basically the, the documentation that you can explore and see all the stuff you can fetch from their GraphQL API and uh, the getting started page that explains you how you can set this up. This uh, is accessible from the domains, but I think this is their old dashboard uh, still in this document. Okay, so the next thing, um, there are plenty of ways to fetch your blog posts uh, stored in hash node and uh, render them. You can use Next.js, uh, Remix, anything pretty much, but I decided to use Astro because uh, Astro gives you static pages. And for a blog, I don't think you need anything more than that. Yes, you might have some uh, theme switchers and uh, searches that might use some client side JavaScript, but like 99% of your blog is going to be a static page. Another good thing in Astro is that uh, they have pretty good themes. You can search this here. So I use something called Astro paper, uh, I think. And uh, these are like some of them are free. You can get the paid themes as well. Uh, they are mobile friendly, easily customizable. And all you have to do is just uh, select the theme you want to go with, click the get started button. And uh, here you go use this template and create a new repository. Here you choose the owner and give a repository a name and create repository. So this will essentially clone this theme into your own repository where you can start it up and add the hash node integration. Regarding the code, so once you clone this, you will get, well, exactly this, but this is not prepared to work with the data that comes back from Hashnode. I think this particular template uses a bunch of uh, hard-coded MD files as the blog posts, and this is what they list under their articles. Of course, you will have to replace this with a fetch that goes to your hash node API endpoint. You will also have to modify their components because they are made to work with the structure that is hard coded in these MD files I just showed you. So I think the easiest way to get started here is to just clone my repository where I already did all these changes, modified the components, added the fetches, implemented the pagination, and essentially you will have this file inside lib clients where you will replace this 
with your Hashnode URL. By the way, if you're using a custom domain already for Hashnode like I do, so my blog is on akoshkama.com, um, you still have this uh, Hashnode version of your blog. So you can use this here to access the GraphQL API. The next and almost the final step is the deployment. You can deploy this anywhere where you want. I picked Netlify. I used it already for a couple of other blogs. You can get away with their free tier. And I think they have pretty much everything you need for a developer blog. So here you will be creating a new website from an existing project. You will specify here your GitHub repository. And once that's done, you will see it deployed here. After the deployment, you will get an auto-generated URL. You can replace that with your custom URL by going into site configuration and clicking change site name. So this is how I changed mine. And if everything worked out, then your website should be reachable on this uh, Netlify domain. Okay, so this is fine for deploying for the first time, but you also want to rebuild your website probably every time you change a hash node blog post or add a new one. So you can achieve this by going back to deploys inside your uh, freshly created Netlify deployment and scrolling down in deploy settings to webhooks. Here you will add a build hook name it like a hash node rebuild. You have to specify which branch to rebuild and click on save. This will uh, generate you a custom URL. You will copy this, go back to your dashboard and inside webhooks, create a new webhook. You will paste here the URL you just copied and you have to specify on which events you want to call this webhook. So it's post published and post updated, probably post deleted as well. And click create webhook. You can test this by clicking this test button and go back to your site, click site overview under production deploys. You already see this new build starting up because we triggered the webhook by clicking that test button. It will end up doing the same thing when you update, create or delete a hash node blog post. If you want to set up a custom domain, just click this next wizard step inside Netlify and read their documentation because this is not something that's specific to hash node. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. If I can help you in any way with setting up your custom Hashnode blog, Astro or Netlify, feel free to drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more web development related topics like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.